So there's two types of peaks. Well, there's more, but we're going to pretend that there's two. There's shift peaking and there's slicing the pie. Okay. That's the only two types of peaks. Okay. And then there's also um, what you do a lot of the time, which is W keying, which is not allowed anymore. So I'm going to try and give you a very simple way to know if you should slice the pie or if you should shift peak. And I want you to focus on that because the crosshair discipline is looking good. But anytime you peek into them, you're getting laid the hell out because your peaks are really bad. Okay. Here is the rule of thumb. When you're close to an angle, you slice the pie. Then when you get further from an angle, like here, you shift. So here I'm getting close to this angle. I don't want to peak V-Link. So I would have to peek out fast. Make sense? And yep. now I'm far from that angle. So I would shift towards it. I get close to that angle. I think they might be at that corner. Fast. I'm far from this angle. I'm shifting. Far from that angle. I'm shifting. I get close to it. What do I do? Pre-aim in the wall. Fast. I'm far from that angle. Shifting. That makes sense? Yeah. So once you get close, you do a quick pre-aim and you move and you like slice the pie. Couple slices. Whatever. It doesn't have to be super clean. But when you're further from a corner, shifting. And when you get close, these faster pie slicing motions. And try to break it down into a couple peaks. Like I don't want you just swinging out into a one, two, three, four angles. Like try and break it apart. You don't have to do it like a radiant where I'm going to maybe peak like four different angles. Uh, but try to like stop, go and stop and then enter your shift mode again. Keeping okay. your crosshair discipline up. And then you should be chilling. Um, you lost a couple of fights where you're holding really well because your crosshair is a bit too low. Um, so just be mental of that. But it was looking good. Most of your deaths were because you were peaking like this. And this is not an exaggeration. This is how you peaked B1 round. And then you die to this guy. And yeah. it's like, of course, you're going to die to that guy. This is an Apex Legends. So you're going to die instantly when you see a guy like that. You've got to come out and really... Okay, they're not there. Okay. Oh, I want to come out. Oh, I should... Yeah, you know, come across. You can't just expose yourself to seven angles like that. Want to get coached? It's free. Join the Discord, read the VOD submission rules, submit a VOD for my moderation team to approve, and then show up to any VOD review stream and enter the raffle. Check the events tab on my Discord to see when the next VOD review stream is. Enjoy the video. Request for Hooj. Can you make the player play chamber, please? Do you hear yourself? Why? Why? Explain. I'm not even backseating them. I'm not giving them any advice on their util usage of their agent. Why do you want this player to pick chamber? You're just going to see a random bronze guy play chamber. It's not like he's going to know anything about the agent. Why do you want that? Can you force them to buy Marshall every round? <laughs> All right, Jack, get ready. Prepare your ears. This is... This is Valorant coaching, okay, chat? Everything you've seen before this has just been a stepping stone for what you're about to witness today. Lower the volume now or forever hold your peace. Because the moment the game starts, I'm beeping. Boy, Kimo, thank you for the prime. Prediction. I mean, if there's any mods who would like to run a prediction, I'm in full beep control mode. So, unfortunately, I can't. See how fast they get it, chat? Do you see how fast? I'm telling you, dude, you just need one game and then you're like in. Look how fast they get it. Look, he's locked in. He's so locked in, chat. Beep's gone. Need a drop. Who's going to get Amber Alert? All right, wait. Can't use that.
Enemy spotted mid. Reloading. Uh. Nice round. Nice round. Why is it interface HD and the rest 240p? <laughs> because that's how um, compression works, dog. The uh, the pixels of the interface aren't changing. And so, like, for example, if he just stared at one angle for a long time, it should look better. Look at that! We're up 1-0! Just gotta play around the slow fields and we're fine. God, he's so good. He's so good. Even while he's buying? Yeah. He's so good. Look at him. Shadows traveling. Look, chat. I don't even have to beep now. He literally got it in a round and a half. Do you, you see this? Crosshair discipline. He's got it. I mean, he was just looking at a door chat. Like, the door is not. They can't come through that thing without making noise. One enemy remaining. Nobody bought. Wait, did we just play round two with pistols again? What the hell are you guys doing down there in bronze? What the hell are you guys doing? You're all playing in three FPS and you're buying pistols on round two. I will take back what is mine. Look, Chad, I didn't even have to beep him. I didn't even have to beep him. Look at him. He's aiming a head height. It took two rounds. Oh my God. I think this is the future. This is the future of Valorant coaching. The leverage and this individual's problem is he's playing on 3 FPS. If he had a good PC, he'd be cooking. Quiet. This guy just used the ping to communicate quiet. That was close wall. We probably should beep that. <laughs> I mean, every time you do something wrong, no, just crosshair placement. Just when the crosshair is not in a valid spot. I'm going to say it, Tat. If you're playing Valorant and your FPS is consistently dipping into the 30s, you should play like a different game. I'm not going to lie. Or like play unrated. It just looks so unfun. Like he can't, he's not capable of playing real Valorant like this. She's ready. Yeah, his client is low FPS. You can see his client FPS graph. I just saw him dip yeah. into the single digits pre round. Yeah. Guy's literally mid and he doesn't hear them. Blinding. 
how would he win a fight? Look, he can't even beat a classic pistol, chat. He can't even beat a classic because he gets like two frames to shoot back. There's nothing fun about that. Okay, okay. I think you've gotten it, and I think you streaming is hurting your FPS. So we're going to pull the next guy in so you can go play your rank game because you had like three frames to fight that guy mid and I don't want to keep hurting your experience. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Valuable data point. Are we in there? We're in. Yeah. All right. How the hell are you bronze? I have uh, tremors that are pretty bad. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. So like your hand shakes when you click? Yeah. Have you tried binding shoot to spacebar? Uh, that's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. Oh, it's actually. so lit. It's so it lit. Let's see it. All right. Go get him. Yeah, there's there's a dude with Tremors who's an immortal. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying some different things, but my rank went down a lot when I moved from shooting on mouse to space. Say less. Say less. I want to see phantom buys from you and right. instant crouch sprays every fight. I actually think this is good, by the way. Um, one sec. Far wall, far wall. Lower. Higher. You got it. Got it. <laughs> this guy's gonna have it within three rounds, chat. Watch this shit. No charges left. No, he's so nervous, chat. Spike down, C. I have the spike. Still in Got ours! Let's go! Yeah! <sighs> Sit down! Brandon, please reload. Thank you. Oh, shit. Last player standing. Come on, gasp, spasm. Oh, no, he's dead. No, he's the best player in the world. He's dead. He just peeked back out with W and A with four bullets. At the nervous shakes. Well, this individual has tremors, chat. They have tremors. Oh, wait. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got the idea. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that thing perfect. Okay, man has to stand still, chat. Did you see that? Yeah, what did we just see? Why couldn't he plant the bomb? Too easy. Too easy. I think we're chilling. We're gonna need you to stand still when you fire your weapon. Thanks. Too easy. What's this beep? Oh, whenever his crosshair isn't 
like in a good spot for an extended My amount turn. of time, I, I beep. Right there. Flash. Uh, 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 enemy uh. <laughs> uh. Oh no, chat. Reloading. We got a little too wide for our own good on that one. So there's two types of peaks. Well, there's more, but we're going to pretend that there's two. There's shift peaking and there's slicing the pie. Okay. That's the only two types of peaks. Okay. And then there's also um, what you do a lot of the time, which is W keying, which is not allowed anymore. So... I'm going to try and give you a very simple way to know if you should slice the pie or if you should shift peak. And I want you to focus on that because the crosshair discipline is looking good. But anytime you peek into them, you're getting laid the hell out because your peaks are really bad. Okay. Here is the rule of thumb. When you're close to an angle, you slice the pie. Then when you get further from an angle, like here, you shift. So here I'm getting close to this angle. I didn't want to peak B-Link. So I would have to peek out fast. That makes sense? And yeah. now I'm far from that angle. So I would shift towards it. I get close to that angle. I think they might be at that corner. Fast. I'm far from this angle. I'm shifting. Far from that angle. I'm shifting. I get close to it. What do I do? Pre-aim in the wall. Fast. I'm far from that angle. Shifting. That makes sense? Yeah. So once you get close, you do a quick pre-aim and you move and you like slice the pie. A couple slices, whatever. It doesn't have to be super clean. But when you're further from a corner, shifting. And when you get close, these faster pie slicing motions. And try to break it down into a couple peaks. Like I don't want you just swinging out into a one, two, three, four angles. Like try and break it apart. You don't have to do it like a radiant where I'm going to maybe peak like four different angles. Uh, but try to like stop go and stop and then enter your shift mode again keeping okay. your crosshair discipline up and then you should be chilling um you lost a couple of fights where you're holding really well because your crosshair is a bit too low um so just be mental of that but it was looking good most of your deaths were because you were peaking like this and this is not an exaggeration this is how you peaked b1 round and then you died to this guy and yeah it's like of course you're gonna die to that guy this is an apex legends you're gonna die instantly when you see a guy like that, you've got to come out and really... Okay, they're not there. Okay. Oh, I want to come out. Oh, I should... You know, come across. You can't just expose yourself to seven angles like that. You're going to get okay. killed. Yeah. And if you know somebody somewhere, holding them is like almost always better, especially in our elo. So there were a couple times where you like knew an enemy's around the corner. They're going to peek you, okay? They're always going to peek you. Just crouch, hold it head height. They come and just... You already should mentally know I'm going to spray that kid. I'm going to spray him and kill him. And once you're like comfortable knowing that that's how you're going to take the fight, you're going to take it a lot faster. And you'll get more kills. Thank you, Piro. Good luck on the climb. Appreciate you. the gameplay. Peace out.